Does going for a walk help you concentrate? Does reading make you sleepy? Does the word yawn make you yawn? How your brain processes information has a large impact on your thoughts and behaviours. And like all things human, your ability to recognise and manage reactions to different sensory inputs improves if you encounter them regularly. Sensory circuits are structured to stimulate a particular set of senses with the end goal of positively affecting their thoughts and behaviour. The more regular the circuit is completed, the stronger the associations between the input and output will be. All children can benefit from sensory circuits. However, the structured routine makes them particularly beneficial for children who struggle with sensory processing. Most circuits take around 15 minutes to complete and everything should be set up in advance so your child can go from one activity to the next. The main phases of the sensory circuit are the alert phase, the organising phase and the calming phase. All phases need to be completed in sequence. If you're interested in the science behind sensory circuits, you can find a link to more information in the description below. The alert phase focuses on repetitive movements such as back and forward or side to side. Imogen does 30 bounces on the trampoline. Next, she does 20 full swings on the swing set. She finishes the alert phase by doing 10 shuttle runs. Your child could do 30 star jumps, play row, row, row your boat, or anything that is a back and forward or side to side motion. The organised phase involves the child processing multiple inputs at the same time. Imogen walks across the balance beam, over the stepping stones, and through the tunnel. The obstacle course at the spinny is perfect for this. At home, your child could play Simon Says or throw things at a target, anything that tests coordination and balance. The calming phase ensures your child exits the circuit in a calm and controlled way. These senses are stimulated through relaxation, mindfulness and deep tissue pressure. We are using big bean bags at the spinny, but duvets would work too. Imogen is sandwiched between two bean bags and through the top bean bag, her back is pressed fairly hard. The next activity is simple. Called squashing, Imogen links her fingers on both hands and pushes down on her head for 10 seconds. She's trying to exert a constant amount of pressure. To end the circuit, Imogen reads a couple of pages of a book. Humans have eight senses, so finding what works for your child is part of the fun. Mixing up the activities to keep things fresh will also improve your child's sensory processing skills.